Hey, this is Rocket Brain Surgeon, and today we're looking at the F4U1. This is a tier 6 light US fighter characterized by really good climb, decent energy retention, decent turning. It's kind of a hybrid between a boom and zoom and a turn and burn fighter. You can see that I'm above my optimal altitude, 2400 meters with boost left over. I mean, that's just really good. You can climb with the best of them at tier 6. You can see on the left, the dive speed is very nice as well. That means you can dive from a high altitude and keep your speed up to escape in the horizontal or convert that back to altitude. Here I am uh, climbing away from a Spitfire all the way above 3,000 meters and stall him out. So I quick want to dive on him and get guns on the target before he has a chance to get away. The firepower is very typical for the U.S. line, just a bunch of 12mm guns. Why the 12mm guns and not the upgraded 20mm? Because everyone reputable I've talked to has said, nope, don't get the 20mm guns, and I trust them. There are a lot of guns in World of Warplanes that are not upgrades, but you have to pay XP for them to figure out, wow, this gun sucks, I'd rather go to the stock gun. So I consider it just kind of a perk of the plane that you already have your guns right when you research the plane. The firepower on the plane is a little bit light, it's nothing spectacular. To help out a bit, I am running armor-piercing incendiary. With those six guns, you get a lot of hits. You notice the spray instead of a singular line of fire. You'll get a lot of hits and you'll start a lot of fires, which actually helps with your damage quite a bit. I wouldn't say this is the best plane in tier, but it's definitely a comfortable plane. If you need to extend the flaps and just whip the plane around in a 180 degree turn, it is capable of doing that and you can outturn quite a few opponents. If you need to boost into the sky either to escape or to pursue some enemy, it absolutely does that as well. Since the firepower is a bit light, it's going to struggle in a couple situations. Most notably head-ons, it can't even profitably head-on with Russian or Japanese planes. You just don't want to head-on anything with uh, the F4U. It also is going to have a little bit of a problem with GA, simply because it does not damage fast enough. And unless you start them on fire, it's going to be a long grind. A nice feature of the F4U is when you boost in the horizontal, it will keep its speed up. So that's nice when you're traveling somewhere. It might not be as fast as something like the P51A. However, you can boost in the horizontal and it will stay going at 500 kmh. So if you need to traverse the map quickly, uh, remember that trick. Just boost in the horizontal to keep your speed up and you know travel where you need to and then either convert it into uh, altitude or you know cut the throttle to recharge your boost while you dive. 20 seconds is a lot of boost for a plane to have and here we're using it to chase down what looks like to be an AFK P40 and I can boost in the horizontal as I did to keep my speed up and slowly approach the P-40. He's just on the outside of my gun range. Overall, I think the Corsair line is pretty good for people starting out in World of War planes. They who may not know boom and zoom techniques or how to retain energy and might want to turn a lot, however, have options when you're turning. If you just played a turn fighter like the Japanese line or some of the Russian lines, you might be disappointed that you can't climb with certain planes. Well, the F4U, the Corsair line, solves that problem. It kind of does a little bit of everything and in a more forgiving way than the Spitfire line does. As we're diving, trying to chase down that last enemy, you can see that huge dive speed, 670 kmh. That'll get you across the map fast. Uh, ramming, I missed the ram, the last one for the ninth kill, and I missed it. I feel real bad about that one. Uh, you can see how fast it turns around, but it does bleed a little bit of speed when you're making such a tight turn like that. Oh no, I didn't get the kill. Oh, he's on fire. Yeah, I did get the kill. Overall, I consider the F4U1 to be the epitome of average at Tier 6. Hope you enjoyed. Happy hunting.